And I visited my cousin, Kenna, who was extremely depressed. She couldn't see light at the end of the tunnel. What I want to share to you is one solution that made all the difference in the world, and it was a question, okay? It was a question. She thought back and I saw her eyes light up and saw her whole demeanor change. And instantly she says, oh, when I was down south and I was, you know, trying out for movie roles and I was modeling and I was doing all these things. And I said, oh, that's the answer. And the answer wasn't complicated. Yeah, it might have been a little scary leaving an environment where she had a roof over her head. But first and foremost, you have to take out yourself first. In the Western culture, it's, it's, there's so many things that are toxic and addictive. Now, if you're aware of those things, okay, and you continue to navigate those things that are detrimental to your health, okay, physically and mentally, you're not getting up and moving around, you're watching, you know, flat screen TV all day, and you're walking around with this, this TV in your pocket, right? It's not your fault. We're all subject to the addictive behaviors of the Western culture, but it is your responsibility to be accountable to yourself and know what you need to do to take the actions that are gonna make an impact in your life and then have the impact in lives of people around you, so. And High Road to You is all about accountability. High Road to You is about not ignoring, not denying, not blaming. It's about total accountability and taking action. We're not in this alone, everybody's together, navigating the same type of storms and it's an inspiration and encouragement to uh, take action in your life. Nothing happens without action.